Hello, it's your favorite sports dunk here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the fastest growing community on YouTube. Remember, nightcap doesn't happen without you. So please subscribe or you're going to make Ocho cry. All right, Gil, let's get right into it. Kings beat the Lakers 130-120. LeBron left the game with 356 to play, went straight to the locker room. Darvin Ham said they're real va- they're evaluating him uh, at the moment, so no update. The Lakers led by 19 in the first quarter before a massive turnaround in the second quarter had them down 15 uh, at the half. Mm-hmm. And the game never got within single digits. I think they cut it to nine, maybe once in the second half. But I think that was as, as close as they got. And this was a consequential loss for the Lakers because instead of pulling a half game uh, behind Sacramento for the seventh seed and tying Dallas for the eighth, they fall four games back of the King with the loss. Two and a half uh, 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 back in the overall and lose the season tiebreaker to the Kings. For me, Gil, before you get into it, it really wasn't the second quarter. It was the end of the first quarter in which they were up by mm-hmm. 19. They were up by what, 19? And they allowed the Kings to go on that 10 0 run to close it out. So they got outscored in the second quarter, 44 to 20. But when you add that 10 points that they gave up in the last minute, last minute, 15 seconds of the first quarter, they really out got scored 54 to 20. And so I thought that was a difference in the ball, uh, a lot of the difference in the ball game, especially in the first half. But what did you look at? What did you see in the first half? What did you see overall in this ball game? Yeah, dur- during that time on that 10 0 run, I think. Um... Austin Reeves took four of those shots and missed all four. They were good yeah. shots, but four of those shots um, he he missed. They kept passing him the ball and he kept taking it. So there would have been a time where, you know, usually you, you miss two in a row, you know, and they're making a run. I think they should have called a timeout a little bit earlier. I don't in that know run. why, why Darvin Ham. You, you see that the other <laughs> night. He just like, even with the Nuggets. Let's go back to the Nuggets. Uh, not to cut you off, Gil. You saw the Nuggets make their run. And he's standing on the sideline like Phil Jackson. Bro, quell that run. Call a timeout. You ain't Phil Jackson. Yeah. You know, so, <laughs> um, you know, sometimes, you know, a coach will allow you to play through those um, those runs, the build character. But, you know, uh, at this point in time, you can see, um, you know, Reeves are struggling a little bit. So the fact that he did take four or five of those shots, that that uh, that was part of that uh, 10-0 run. And- um, other, oh, yeah. you know, for a team that's supposed to be great at defense, you know, you gave up too many points in the paint. Ooh. You gave up too many points in the paint, you know, to be such a great, you know, so you have, you know, you do have LeBron back there. You do have, um, 80 back there. So Rui's back there. So the fact that you gave up 70 something points, you know, to a team that shoots a lot of threes is, is, is not a winnable for, formula. Yeah. You look at De'Aaron Fox, he's, he's the Laker killer. And he's averaging 30 coming yeah. into the game in this, what, last five or six games against the Lakers. He drops 44 on 19 or 32 shooting. And, you know, the thing was, uh, again, Sabonis outplayed AD. He outplayed him. He had a, he had a triple-double at about the end of the third quarter. You look at Malik Monk comes off the bench. I think he gave him, gave him 26, 28. He gave him 26, uh, 10 of 19 shooting, 3 of 5 from the three-point line. Davian Mitchell came off the bench. He went 4-4 from the field, 4-4 from the three-point line. But let's just say for the sake of argument, if you can get LeBron, LeBron, LeBron was great. I don't think he took enough shots. He was 10 of 16, 10 of 10 from the free throw line. He was 31, 13 and 5, 31 points, 13 assists, five block, uh, five, five rebounds, uh, one steal, only had three turnovers. So you could live with that. But AD had 14 and 11, but Sabonis gave you 16. 20 and 12. So you can't, you can't, and see, that's what that, that happened the last couple of games. Jokic outplayed him. You can live with Jokic outplayed him. Jokic is the first or second best player in all of basketball, but you can't let Sabonis outplay you. You got to play him to a standstill because Darren Fox is going to, hey, Darren Fox basically outscored D. Russ and, 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 and he outscored AD, D. Lo, and Austin Reeves by himself. They had 42 yeah, between the three. He had 44 alone. Yeah, with some bonus, th- th- to be honest, it's one of those type of stats where he outplays you, but there's nothing you can do about, like, he's going to get all the rebounds. So it's not like he got a lot of offensive rebounds. 
the, the assist him passing it to his teammates, that's his job. So you can't really quantum quantum that. Um, but he's pushing it. You held but him he's to, pushing it. You see him get the rebound. He's pushing it. He's going yeah. at he. But that's, yeah, but you can't like that's not that's under you know that's not in AD's control where that's his style of play. You know the the Euro the Euro bigs just has more tangibles. Um, you know, so the assists you know kind of push them um, above the American big right now because they can get their teammates involved when they're not having a great offensive game. They can make those passes like Sabonis. I think he's leading in triple doubles this year. Y- over he is. Yoke and 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 Luca. So you know uh, he's really going under the radar with how dominant he's been but playing. See, that's why you. That's why you cook his ass on the offensive end. You go get thirty. You go get. 30. <laughs> see, this is where he needed one of those 35-15 games. So now yeah. all of a sudden he's exerting a lot of energy. He didn't really have to exert a lot of energy to get those numbers. I mean, you uh, yeah, he played thirty eight minutes, but he had a triple double at the end of the third, and so now he's just <laughs> adding to that total. And that's where AD needs – AD's going to have to, like, you know, he's 5 or 13. He missed some shots early. I didn't think he was a, as aggressive as he needed to be. Uh, but you got when you get a guy like that that can score on the offensive end, and he's not got a guy that's going to give you 30, but he's going to uh, – quietly, he can give you 20 and 20 and 10 and 20, 20 and 15. You've got to punish him. AD needs to have – that was the game. AD did that 35, 15, 6 game. Yeah, you know what's so funny is is he reminds me, I call them 50-50 players, where if they hit their first two shots, they're gonna have yeah. a good game. If they miss their first two shots, they're gonna have a bad game, that they're gonna be unaggressive, right? You you're hoping that they go one and one and stay be and still be interested right. in the game, right? Um, you know, what makes a real star is I can have a 0 for 5 first half and then get you a 45 or 50 in the second. KD right? last night. You still have to struggle the whole yeah, game. And once still he got it going, the late in the fourth and in overtime, he took the game over. That. Yeah, you can't just, just call it a night. Oh, I missed three, four in a row. It's, it's done. I'm done. Right? You know, you have to still be engaged and do some of the other things that keeps the team involved until you get your momentum and your rhythm and your confidence. And that's, and sometimes what, what happens with AD is when he starts missing early, he just, he just becomes um, uninterested offensively. Yeah. It's, they didn't play any defense. Darren Fox got whatever he wanted. He got to wherever he wanted. At some point in time, Gil, what about trapping him and get the ball out of his hand? Is that ever an option in an NBA game to trap somebody and get make them give the ball up? No, nah, not when not 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 somebody that fast, right? You, <laughs> you just compromise and you just compromise. Okay, I'll, I'll compromise. Talking about, but I see he got it going. Yeah, everybody can't have it going, like, Gil. You you know what you know what it is. They haven't understood with fast guys like him. What fast guys like him wants to do, Derrick Rose, I did it. Um, John Wall does did it. We want to set the pick at the damn yeah, half court. Get a running right? start at you. Just if you dumb enough to bring your ass up there so we can just zoom by mm-hmm. you, right? Because we have more running room. With those type of guys, you sit at the three-point line to take away their burst of speed. They don't realize that because they want to pick it up. We're going to set the pick as high as possible. And then we get a run at mm-hmm. the big man, which that's what Fox does very well. Um, I thought the key, I thought the key to the run with the Lakers was when is it uh Hayes got the yeah. and one and they called it an offensive foul on the natural way yeah. of jumping. Like I'm gonna I jump like you know, with your right hand and your right leg is, come up. is yeah. pushed forward. So what happens is that put them within nine. Yeah. Right. That put them within nine. He gets the free throw eight. And then they came down and made a three. So the fact that they took that away, they took away that right. three point possession. You so know, it could have been 12, a six, 15 six point game and they get a couple more. Now, what could have been an eight yeah. point game now is a 19 point game. Yeah. You know, and I think that was one of those key moments with the refs. And, you know, as one of the refs who actually played, I forgot his name. But he he did play mm-hmm. basketball. Um, Who's the official? Um, something Wood. Oh yeah, uh, is it, Al Wood. Um, is it Al Wood? Oh, Leon. Wood, Woodred. Who who was the ref today? Um, hold on. Up here, where would I find the refs at? Was it Derek Collins? 
Derek Connors played, right? right? Derek. I know. Uh, there so, was there was a. Uh, I don't know if he had. A, yeah, there was a, a wood that not Woods, but there, there was a guy that played. I. Yeah, see, I think I think Derek played. Well, you understand that when you jump, that's how you jump. So he didn't leave with his right. his knee. He didn't leave with his knee for offensive foul. That's just a natural jumping ability. You don't jump with your legs straight <laughs> down. So that that was a call that they messed up, and I thought that was the point of the game where they needed that because that end one, then you come down, shoot a three. It's a different right. vibe, especially at home. So um, once they took that away, I think it was. Um, it kind of it took it took away some Derek of the momentum. Collins. Kevin Cutler, yeah. I know Kev. Uh Scott Twarf, Twarf, Twarski, and Derek Collins. Yeah. Um they were, just, they were just that. I was like, ah, they need that's what they need. You right know what, there. Gil? The thing is with the Lakers. I was thinking Orlando Woodbridge. Oh, yeah. That's what was <laughs> now big old big, 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 big old ain't no appear. <laughs> I, th- I think the thing is for me, uh, uh Gil, is that with the Lakers. They don't, what, what are the 20 games left? Yep. So you really, because you put yourself in this corner, you have no margin for error. You've got to win these games. Mm-hmm. When you get the, when you get the uh, Nuggets down by 11, you've got to have, you got to find a way to win that ball game. You get the Kings down by 19. You've got to find a way to close that ball game. I know it's early in the game, but you still have AD and LeBron. They just stopped playing defense. Mm-hmm. There was a stretch. They didn't. They were getting layup after layup after layup after layup, and and the Lakers are like, oh, oh, oh well, oh, oh, wide open, uh, uh, uh shoot around threes. Uh, we, we just gotta, we just gotta put this in perspective. Uh, right now, seven, eight, nine, and ten is locked for seven, eight, yeah. nine, and ten. That is a lock. Right. Uh, Lakers is going to be in the play in game. Golden State, Dallas and Sacramento. Those are going to be the play in game teams. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, Utah at 28 wins. They're fifth. They're they're five and a half games out of, you know, uh, the 10 spot. They don't they're not they're not moving. So this is the four. Now, let's just be honest. These four are playing chess. No one wants to move to six. Because no one wants to play no, Denver hell not. first round, right? No one wants to play Denver, so you only see Phoenix actually trying to get the fifth, right? Phoenix would rather play Clippers than Denver yeah, in the yeah. first round. Uh, I will, I will, okay, seven. <laughs> yeah, so you know, so but if I'm Lakers, I I want to be eighth spot because eighth spot gives me Minnesota. And then it gives me four or fifth. So I don't have to worry about Denver to the Western Conference Finals. Well, again. What about if I get set? What if I get the seventh seed? I want, uh, I want, I want, uh, well, I'm hoping the OKC oh, Thunder I, finish it too. Cause I want them. Yeah, I get, yeah, then I get Denver in the oh, second no, round. Yeah, yes, yeah. I don't want, I don't want yeah, Denver don't either. Want them. So, <laughs> rather, <laughs> so I'd rather just sit back where I'm at right now, knowing that I don't really have to. Cut the engine on because 11, you're, you're too right. far behind 11 right now. So I want to sit in that eighth spot. Okay. You know, take take on tough Minnesota. And then and then I have the Clippers, New Orleans, or Suns for my but second what, round. What, uh, what about the eighth spot? That means you got to win two games. Nah, well, seven, eight, whoever wins becomes the seventh seed, right? Yeah. I, to be honest, I don't even know how that works. Because somebody got to win two games. Yeah. Okay, because if you're the seventh seed and you lose, whoever loses go down. Yes, and then whoever whoever with so nine I, ten, you get one win, you get one game. Whoever loses out of nine ten, they're out. Yeah, seven eight. Yes, they get to play the the uh, the winner of nine ten. Yes. Okay. Man, that that, that yeah, game. So it's, it's really, I just knew. I mean, and the Lakers shot fifty two percent. Gil. They shot 52% from they shot 52% from the field, 47% from the three, 84% from the free throw line, and they lose. They give up 130. That tells me you didn't play yeah. no, Gil. You didn't even pinch anybody. No defense. <laughs> you didn't play no defense. It's like that's what I'm saying. It's one of those things where it's like, 
Like, are you just perp- are you just trying to sit in Tim's spot? Mufta. It's a, to be honest. You know, if I'm coaching, I'm telling you right now, this is what I'm going. This is what I'm doing. So I got to be careful on the games I win versus the game I lose because I I want a spot. So I want the tenth. Minnesota, uh, Minnesota, Sacramento got up sixteen more shots than the Lakers. Yeah. With only one more, with only one more turnover. So that tells me offensive yeah. rebounds. They had nine. The Lakers had three. Yeah. And, it, and that's it. Lakers got to find a way to do a better job of getting on the glass. Now, this is a, they, you know, they got out rebounded the other night by um by Denver. At some point in time, you can't keep getting getting out rebounded. You giving too many, you giving teams too many cracks at you. That's why I'm like, I can put in the football term, Gil, you can't let teams keep getting picking up third downs because you're giving them too many cracks at you to get the ball into the end zone on that one drive. You want to get them off the field. You get them. All you can do is get them in third down. We didn't get up a touchdown on first down or second down. We got them in third. Let's get off the field. That's all you can hope for as a defense. Get somebody to third down and get them off the field. You didn't give up the touchdown on first. You didn't give it up on second. You got them to third. We've got to get off the field. You keep letting teams convert on you on that in the same drive on third down, they'll eventually mm-hmm. catch up with you. You keep letting teams get that many cracks at you on, on the offensive end. Oh, one of them going to go down. They're not going to miss all those threes. They're not going to miss all those putbacks. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't understand where I don't think like I want to be inside the locker room when he's giving out his speeches because um, it is simple sometimes like, Hey, AD, I need this to be a 20 rebound yes. game, right? You need to start setting like assignments. So there's just games you have to lay assignments down depending on who you're playing against. Hey, AD and Braun, I need to, I need you guys to combine for about 35 to 40 rebounds between the two of you. We have a very deep, we have a very defensive. Minded team, we they they hit the offensive glass. I you guys need to secure it. I mean, it's simple. I told my son, he just had 53, right? He had 53 the game before. I said, Hey, you're not gonna have 53 against this next team. I'm expecting you to have about 20 and 20. I need you for your team to win. You need as a guard, you need about 18 to 25 rebounds. That is the, you get 18 to 25 rebounds, you guys win this game, you're going to the state championship. If you don't, if you sit around trying to be a guard, y'all in trouble. He had 18. He had 20, 24, and 18. You have to lay, some of these guys, you have to give them an assignment so they can mentally focus on it. And see, here's the thing. If you don't do that, then they just play the game normally. And see, here's the thing. When I say uh, uh, Sabonis outplayed AD, he scored more points, and he had more rebounds. Mm-hmm. We understand the assists because a lot of the offenses run through him. So we'll we'll concede mm-hmm. that uh, uh, mm-hmm. Jokic having more assists than, than, than AD. I'm not complaining about that. But I can't let him beat me on the scoring end and on the rebounding end. I've got – because if I'm losing – if I lose two or the three against one of those guys, I'm probably going to lose that game. If I lose all three of them, I'm damn sure going to lose that game. Yeah. And, and this is why, this is why the, the ideal of what people used to say about Russell Westbrook, he's stat, he, he's stat chasing. One of those stats were two unselfish ones, or two of them stats was unselfish. Assists, that means he's passing the ball and rebounding, which takes right. effort. I guarantee you they wish they had a dude tonight <laughs> that 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 cared about rebounding so much. Yep. You yes. know what I mean? So Sabonis almost out rebounded. Sabonis had 20 rebounds. The Lakers starting five mm. had 24. Yeah, see that, yeah. 13, 18, 19. Yeah, see the fact that he's rebounding so much that see the, the, the fact that he's rebounding so much leaves a little room for offensive rebounding. Which there's no second chance, like he's cutting off second chance points, footback points, because he's doing 95% of the defensive the, the defensive rebounding for, for that starting well, five. Well, if you think about it, he had more offensive rebounds than the Lakers had as a team. That cannot happen, Gil. I mean, 
Technically, <laughs> technically, if he's getting all the defensive rebound, that means someone ain't getting offensive rebound. Well, it, well, he found a yeah. way to get four, and the Lakers found a way to get three. So how did that happen? Yes. Yeah, see, he's doing his damn job. See, that's that's what I'm saying. Sometimes you just got to sign shit. Yeah. I thought Rui played good. Like, you know, Rui, you look at Rui. Rui's been playing well. 13 of 17, 3 of 5, 29 points. LeBron, 10 of 16, 1 of 4 from 3, 10 of 10 from the free throw line, 31 points. D Lo struggled tonight. Uh, he was 3 of 10. He had to go a little bit uh, early. Uh, 2 of 6 from the 3, 2 of 2 from the free throw line. Austin Reed, 6 of 15. Uh, four or seven from the three point line, but where they killed us is on the bench. Their bench came in and gave yeah. them fifty, and the Lakers bench probably gave them. Did they give them twenty? Let's see, six, seven, fifteen, eighteen, fifty to eighteen in bench yeah. points. Unless your starters go haywire, you're probably gonna mm-hmm. lose. If a team's bench outscores you by that margin, unless you got unless LeBron goes for fifty, AD goes for thirty. You're gonna lose that game. No, no, that's facts. That's facts. Um, it, it, it was just one of those games where they just didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't play all the way through. They had a great first quarter, then from there they just, you know, yep. laid an egg. All right, Gil. There's an article that came out this morning talking about LeBron scoring his 40,000th career point, a feat no one else has mm-hmm. ever accomplished. It said LeBron has privately questioned whether the Laker Nation would fully ever embrace him after seeing him battle their beloved Kobe Bryant for so long acknowledge the way the fans and the franchise showed up for him. Much respect and much loyalty to Laker fans, to Laker fan base for showing me that love, LeBron said. Being the first player to do something, that's pretty cool in this league. Are you surprised? I'm surprised that LeBron's surprised that he thought he was going to be able to win over Laker Nation. LeBron could have won a championship. Every year he would have been here and he still wasn't going to surpass Kobe and he still wasn't going to pass Magic. It's not going to happen. Just like for the most, look, he was a better player than D-Wade. Miami wasn't going to embrace mm-hmm. him like they did D-Wade because D-Wade originally there. He D-Wade grew there. He was planted in that soil. He grew there. Same thing with Kobe. They dropped him off as a 17-year-old kid, and he became a man. He became a father. He became a husband. Here, it was never good. KD, I don't know. KD, KD couldn't have thought that he was going to ever be ingratiate himself in warrior culture like Steph. Steph, was, is, is, mm-hmm. he's original. Yeah, I, I mean, I, we, you know it deep down inside, but, you know, you, you have the idea when you come to town, fans come out, yeah. right? So, you know, when he came to L.A., remember, he's only coming there once, right. once a year, right? He play for, it's mm-hmm. once a year. When he played for the Clippers, he is the fan favorite when he came to town for the Clip show, right? So sometimes, you know, as players, we think our presence when we come to town is, mm-hmm. no. that's us. So I think he got a rude awakening or just reality hit his first Yeah, they, they defaced when the they, mural. They defaced the, but you would think that your greatness, and I think, you know, everyone kind of like didn't understand what I said where he doesn't deserve a statue. Statue. Because he has a, he hasn't LeBron James, the name, fuck yeah, has a statue. LeBron James Laker resume doesn't have a statue here. His resume as a Laker is 89, probably 9,000 points as of today. 9,000, if you got that. One championship, that is not a statue. Right. Jersey in the Raptors? Yeah, okay, 9,000 points. Um, you know, six-time all, all-star, all star, five-time all in, which would be six. You know, yeah. But a, a statue outside? Nah, the, the minimum... He's going to need is the beat Shaq at 13,000 points in this right. uniform, right? That's what I'm saying. In this uniform, his statue is going to be outside of Cleveland. That's where his. He should his get statue. one in Miami. That's where the statue. Too. Mm-hmm. I was. Well, tell me the guy that got two MVPs and two finals MVPs with four final appearances. 
No, 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 no. We're not talking about his resume. We're talking about his relationship. Oh, yeah, well, then, yeah okay, that's a different story. Okay, that's a different story. <laughs> yeah, that's Pat Riley. Pat yeah, Riley's going to have to leave, have, have to leave before then. Yeah, yeah. So, it, you know, so we're not talking about, we're, we're, you know, it's it's one of those things where, you know, he plays, he plays three, four more years, and he gets to about 13 points, right? 13. He can make your argument, but that's what I'm saying. Shaq's resume is three, three rings. Finals MVPs. Three finals MVP with 13,000 points as right. a Laker. And that's right. the bottom end of, you know, of of the of the totem pole there. So um he was a rental. He was no different right. than, you know, uh Wilt Chamberlain yeah. when he came. You, you know, LeBron was a, a, a rental for the Lakers' greatness. And, you know, that's just something that he's just going to have to accept, right? Even though most of his, his, his milestones came in this uniform. 30,000, passing Kobe, passing Kareem, yeah. 40,000. Assists, rebounds. Yeah, the milestones were hit here, but the legacy wasn't Great. built here. I agree. And that's just something he's just going to have to really just understand. And it's just, it's just part of the game. Yeah. That's all. It ain't nothing, nothing personal. Yeah. Right. I mean, if he was the, if he was the, if this was the Clipper nation. Oh, Clipper. Right? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, you you have a, yeah. yeah. The Clippers take it, but hell, they yeah. take me and you right now, Gil. I mean, we went 50, we went 50 <laughs> games. We get our jerseys on. <laughs> best ride to get, best ride to get to the NBA final. Oh, they're going to build a statue of your boy. Yeah, the hell they got. Shit, you got. <laughs> they have a statue of the whole goddamn James family yeah. out there. I mean, come on now. Yeah, but but I, I think look, uh, I used when I was uh, describing KD going to Golden State, I said Golden State was new addition. Bobby Brown left, they brought Johnny Gill in. Johnny Gill cannot mm-hmm. sing Bobby Brown, but he was yeah. never gonna be accepted by the fans. Because Bobby Brown mm-hmm. grew up with those guys in Roxburgh. Yep. That's just the way it is. Huh? Kobe yep. Bryant grew here. Magic Johnson grew yep. here. Now, we know what Kareem is, but that's why people know. That's why no one ever puts Kareem as the greatest Laker. Because he didn't grow here. He got three of those MVPs yep. in Milwaukee. He got one of those finals yep. of that finals MVP in Milwaukee. So he, that, that's what, uh, they got, they know, most people, 90% of the people got Kobe first, and then the other mm-hmm. 9%, 9.5% got Magic next, and then, they, then they'll sprinkle yeah. in maybe Kareem. Yeah. That's, that's just the way it is. That's, that, that's, you know. Yeah, it's where, it's where you, it's, it's where they see you grow. See, you know, Magic and Magic and Cole, they watched them from yeah. kids to adulthood, right? When Magic got here, you're talking about wide-eyed kids still, young teen or shit, he's 20, right? Still not old enough to get into the club, right? That's who they seen grow to the legacy that he became. So you got to watch him build. Like Shaq came, Shaq already had his name, right? Uh, Wilt already had his name. Kareem already had his name. LeBron already had his name. So they're, they're go, the, the golden children of Los Angeles is Kobe yeah. and Magic. I, and another one, I was just thinking about it. You probably don't remember this, but no matter who came, like David Ruffin is known as the best singer of the Temptations. They had others yeah. come in, but they weren't David Ruffin. Yep. So that's just that's just the way it is. Who were the originals? Who was the OGs? And I don't care. They could have had somebody mm-hmm. come in and that could play the guitar better than uh, Paul McCartney or could sing better than John Lennon. But they didn't start with them and they were never going to be embraced like them. That's just the way it is. That's just the, That's just the way it goes. Yeah, that, that's every, but you know that's everything. That's just everything in yes. life, right? You know, sometimes we get stuck. We get stuck with what we like, and we don't like to add or change. You know, we're gonna always compare it to what the original right. was, uh, and that's just the way human 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 nature is, right? We're always, and that's same thing with the eighties, right? That first vision of basketball. That's yeah. what we like. You change it from that, we don't yeah. like it. That, 
Upper <laughs> down. You, you know what I mean? That's just the first the, the first thing we see, that's usually, you know, what we go off of. And that is the measuring stick moving forward. Right.